Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying two different kinds of granola for you. Uh, I have the Michelle's granola in cranberry pecan. And I have the 365, which is a Whole Foods brand, uh, Blizzard Bounty snack yes. mix. This is not really granola, it's more of a snack mix, like a trail mix. Right, trail, yeah, yeah, I should have said that, trail mix. Uh, the Blizzard Bounty, uh, the Whole Foods brand <coughs> was $5.99, the Michelle's granola was $6.99. So, uh, <coughs> like Kevin said, we bought them both at Whole Foods. Uh, but this is actually a Whole Foods Whole brand. Whole Foods brand, right. and this isn't. Michelle's Granola uh, Cranberry Pecan, this is actually made in Maryland. Michelle's Granola in Maryland. Um, it's a small se uh, small batch seasonal made with whole grain oats, no additives or preservatives, wheat and dairy free. Uh, Michelle's, and yes. Okay. Michelle's Cranberry Pecan Granola is a toasty blend of whole grain oats, pecans, pistachios, cinnamon, and dried cranberries. Every bag of this special seasoning offering is handmade in small batches, baked slowly to golden brown perfection, and hand packaged with love. We hope you enjoy it as much as we enjoy baking it for you. A fourth of a cup, 28 grams is 120 calories. Believe it or not, mine's 140. It's pretty close. It's the same oh, measurement. That's what's oh, 28 grams. Yeah. Well, the reason I put these together is because this is the type of thing that I have been putting in um, yogurt lately. So, a big I want to show you how much you get. So, we thought we would measure it for you. I think it has like whole cranberries. I mean, big, pretty good sized cranberries. There you go. That is exactly 28 grams. Yeah, once I dropped it on the table. Once you dropped it on the table. <laughs> okay, so we're going to have pecans, this. pistachios, oats, cinnamon, dried cranberries. I'm putting the cranberries out here. A cranberry. There's a bunch of them here. Oh, okay. I was going to say, I can hand you one if you want. I'm fighting with it, so you might have to hand me one. Well, here. Wonder if the pistachio <laughs> is in with the cluster. I would say so. See, like, like there's a there's something an almond or something. Uh -huh. Hmm. I like the cranberries is they don't have a they're not completely dried out. They still have a softness, a chew to them. Yes. Um, they're not completely like shriveled up hard rocks. They're mm -hmm. they're actually have a chew to them. No, the, that's really good. Is the vanilla too? Cranberry and cinnamon. Okay. Um, yeah. I love the texture of the granola mm -hmm. itself. It's very crispy. It's crispy, but it's also tender. Right. And there's like layers to it because it's in clusters. There's You're getting a lot of layers. I taste the pistachios. I mm -hmm. taste the pecan. Um, it's pecan a lot. Yeah, like Kevin said, the uh, the cranberry. I like the cranberry that it's soft. You know what? Uh, the cranberry is good, but it's not a tart like cranberry flavor. That's not what you're left with. Right. It has a little bit of cranberry to it, but you don't really. It's not like stand out like that's too cranberry. Right. I like that. It's good, mm -hmm. and it's not. It doesn't seem really super dry either. No. No, that's very nice, and that will go good in mm. yogurt. No, that, that will go excellent with yogurt because mm -hmm. it adds a little bit of that fruity flavor too. Now this is, is the uh, Whole Foods brand limited, limited edition. edition. It's crunchy yogurt pretzels and pistachios mixed with tart cranberries, pumpkin spice pecans, roasted almonds, and shredded wheat squares. Mm. Twenty-eight wheat grams for one hundred forty. Shredded wheat squares. That sounds interesting. Like a Chex Mix. That's what I would think. Yeah, that's all it looks like. Okay, so these like, the pretzels are like... Full size. Full size pretzels. <laughs> so it'll be interesting to weigh yeah, this. I'm not going to pour it. I see lots of pecans. Now this... That's it. That's it. Now oh, that I'm looking wow, at like this... That's like a handful. This... Uh, I, when I bought it, I was thinking, oh, that is something that will go in uh, yogurt. No. Now that I'm looking at it, it's not. It's something that you're just going to eat it by itself. Yeah, like I, like I do my Cajun mix. Um, here, do you want any of this? I'll take a pretzel and this and this. Do you... I'm sure I missed. Did you get a pecan? I mean, an almond. I didn't get one of those either. A pistachio. Alright. 
There's a spice in there that I don't like. Mm -hmm. You too? Me too. I was just looking for it. It's very strong. It's very earthy. Yes. But and it's I, not like cinnamon. It might be nutmeg, but it's, if it is, it's a really strong. It's a, it says dehydrated pumpkin, brown sugar spices. I mean, of course, there's all kinds of other things. Roasted almonds. See, I get a cinnamon I'm okay with. Right. But there's some other spice in there. Yeah, Greek yogurt powder. Mm. I don't know what it is. Uh, it's almost like a too strong a pumpkin spice, but if you've had too strong a pumpkin spice, it's kind of like that, but this is more of a wintry spice. Yeah, and it, it's just, there's just a, it, it is, it, it, I think it is the pumpkin spice. It's a pumpkin spice, but it's just, there's a funkiness to oh, it. Oh my God. And, pretzels and, are mushy too. And maybe, uh, yeah, I didn't like, I ate the pretzel first thing before I tried anything it's else. It's soft, it's not crunchy. Yeah. It's like it's, stale. Yeah, it's it's just, um, yeah, I did not like the yogurt color, covered pretzel at all. Um, and maybe the pistachio mixed with, you know, because pistachios have a strong flavor on their own. That didn't have one. And that, um, and you still didn't like it. That mixed with the pumpkin spice. This is one of those things where I think if you ate a bunch of it, you get used to it and actually like it. You know what I mean? Yeah, I don't like care if you about if you that. ate a bowl of it, mm -hmm. you eat it and you eat it and, and and you would probably say, hmm, I want more of that. You know? But eating it a little bit at the beginning, it's like it's I'd sweet. have to be it's, hungry. It's a, there's a funky spice to it. Yeah, I would have to be really. hungry. But I really like the first. One. Yes, uh, yeah. The, really the Michelle's the Michelle's granola is really nice. It is www.michellesgranola.com. Small batch, handmade, no GMOs, baked with wind power. Yeah, that's amazing. interesting. Yeah. So yeah, this is my my pick tip. And this one, I just think the three sixty five one. There's a spice in it that's way too strong. Mm -hmm. But honestly, it's one of those things you're just gonna have to try on your own. I hate to say it, but I'm sure there are other trail mixes. I'm sure there would be other blends that we would like. Yeah. It's just this one that we just yeah, didn't it's just got a strange spice in there. Yeah. So I'm gonna have a Canada picture for you at the end, really, Canada. Uh -huh. That's cool. And I bet you they don't even get, have it in Canada Probably to try, <laughs> which is always interesting. Um, but I'm gonna have a picture for you at the end, and thanks for watching.